Welcome to another Brawl modding tutorial. This tutorial is realistically the most important. We're going to be discussing the file patch code, which allows you to put all of your custom stuff that you've worked on through all of my tutorials into Brawl. Most of you already have this code, most likely. That's why you've been able to do the tutorials. But for people who are a little bit less tech savvy, this will show you how to have normal Brawl with all your custom stuff. Uh, so you don't have to get like Brawl Plus or anything. You just gotta put this one code in there and you can have all of my tutorials on normal Brawl if that floats your boat. So open up our GCT. Remember you can just start from here if you want, just open a GCT. It does not matter. But if you want to have pretty much everything in Brawl Plus without changing it to Brawl Plus, you just want normal Brawl, this is how you would do it. So over here we have the file replacement code. I've got it selected nice and fancy. Watch for it in the description. When you put it in here, you're going to remember from the first tutorial that you have to get rid of all the spaces. So what I would like you to do, or what I like to do rather, is delete all of the little uh, returns because when you're doing it really fast, when you press delete and then down, your cursor mo moves back to the start of the line when it hits one of those, right? So you just want to be able to do this really quick. It's very time consuming. So I'll take this time to talk about uh, what the file replacement code actually does. So on your Brawl ISO, also known as the Brawl Disk. Your Wii is reading all the folders in there as you play the game. So, when you actually run Brawl, it is going to private uh, Wii, RSBE, PF, or however that linkage is, and those files are actually all real. So what the file replacement code does is it makes it read what you have on your SD card instead of what's on the disk. But if you have nothing on your actual uh, SD, don't worry because it will not add anything because there's nothing there. So it adds what you have, doesn't add anything else, and that's how basically all of my tutorials up to this point have gone so far. So this code is really the basis for every other tutorial I've done. I personally don't understand why anyone would want to play normal Brawl anymore. I find it to be very slow and very defensive. That's the biggest complaint I've heard. So add the code, adds the big long code, and it knows that it's the file patch code, which is great. Save this as a .gct. If, I'll go over this again just in case somebody wasn't here for the first one. You take that off your wherever you saved it, put it in here, rename it as uh, RSBE01. Sure, make sure that uh, you have that in your Wii SD or any SD. Uh, on the root, I have a codes folder, and in there, RSBE01. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm looking for the sandbag code, which removes sandbag, and that will be probably the last code tutorial I'll do. So until then, I hope you enjoyed all these code tutorials, and I look forward to keep making tutorials for you in the future. Thank you.